another one of my favorite peptides, which is a uh, copper peptide, otherwise known as GHKCU. All right, so uh, basically it's a naturally occurring uh, peptide that your body makes. Uh, just as you get older, you produce a lot less. So it's beneficial in the way of uh, especially skin and hair, right? So if you're looking for something, you know, like the ultimate anti-aging peptide, something that's going to help, you know, improve your looks uh, in all aspects, right? So it can help uh, tighten loose skin and reverse the thinning of aged skin, right? Because it essentially just uh, signals your body to increase collagen uh, synthesis and collagen production. Uh, and then it can also reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, help even out skin tone and reduce the appearance of sunspots and acne scars, uh, which is great. Uh, it also has implications for wound healing, uh, UV protection as well, helping protect skin cells from UV radiation. So, so long as you're getting sufficient copper, whether it be through your diet or supplementing uh, with a peptide uh, through, you know, injection uh, administration, then you can actually reverse the grain of hair, which a lot of people don't really realize. It's it's due to that mineral deficiency. So, you know, with copper, it's so vital and so important to so many different uh, functions in the human body, which, you know, unless you're eating beef liver, which is one of the main, you know, and only sources that it's found in insufficient quantities, or you're taking a beef liver supplement uh, using a peptide, like GHKCU is a, a great way to just um, increase your levels uh, dramatically because you can really increase the amount of milligrams that you uh, inject and you can also uh, use it locally, right? So a lot of, I've heard of a lot of uh, bodybuilders that I follow that uh, use it basically as a means of sight enhancement. So whether you're trying to beef up your triceps or your biceps, any anywhere that you know maybe need additional healing. Say you got injured and you're looking for some additional collagen synthesis. Really, just want to enhance the tissue quality of that specific area. Uh, you can inject it directly into the area, and it just uh, from what uh, vigorous Steve. I don't know if you guys know him, um, but he said that he used it on his triceps, like five milligrams uh, every day. And he really was able to just, you know, uh, horseshoe his triceps and really beef it up. Yeah, if you happen to have been injured, you can combine it with things like uh, BPC-157 and TB-500 uh, and really stimulate the healing process um, to a degree that, you know, would make doctors just, you know, wonder what are you on, right? So, yeah, a ton of different use cases for GHKCU. Uh, it's been shown to be anti-inflammatory, have antioxidant effects, uh, decrease the risk of infection. So, yeah, really, I think it's uh, slept on. And from my experience, I really saw a lot of benefits from, uh, you know, occasionally I'll get some uh, tricep tendonitis just from going heavy on bench or, you know, too heavy on, you know, overhead tricep extensions. And uh, I'll just, yeah, have tendonitis, uh, put some... GHKCU with some BPC and TB500 and you know with within a week I've been able to get rid of that pain so yeah definitely great if you have any injuries uh, and yeah just overall I think is is really good even you know using it long term uh, especially they say the the skin quality benefits in terms of reducing wrinkles fine lines and so forth you have to use it up to you know around six months uh, to really start seeing the benefits of that uh, then, you know, on the injury side of things, the benefits are a little bit more acute after administration. So you can kind of see results uh, a little bit faster, so to speak. Um, so yeah, really underrated, uh, peptide. I've really been enjoying it. And yeah, if you've used the GHKCU, definitely let us know, uh, your experience down below in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to drop me a like down below. And see y'all later.